shirts. Do you like shirts? Read a book, you illiterate son of a bitch. Get above your vocab. Hey, my name is Cree Miles, aka Black Emily Dickinson. It's Wednesday, and on Wednesday, we review books. I'm here to talk to you guys today about Girl with the Louding Voice by Abidare. So, whenever you want to pursue a goal or a creative endeavor, it can get to a point where a lot of navel gazing takes place. And in this space, in particular for me, that looks like me keeping track of how many people are following me, how regularly I'm uploading content, putting myself on a reading schedule, looking at what my peers are doing and what's working for them and what's not working for them. And you get so far down that path that you forget why you started doing what you're doing in the first place, what sparked the impetus um, or inspiration to begin. And if you're lucky, you get pulled back and reminded why you started. And The Girl with the Louding Voice did that for me unequivocally. It follows the story of a 14-year-old girl named Aduni who's growing up in a small village in Nigeria named called Akati, I-K-A-T-I. She's poor, the village is poor, a large portion of Nigeria is poor, an extremely large portion of this planet is poor. And in order to get some money and generate some income, her father marries her off to a wealthy man in the village. So in essence, she becomes a child bride. And the story goes from there. I'm not going to ruin it. I know a lot of people are reading it. A lot of people commented when I posted about the book that they wanted to read it. So I can't, I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. But what I can tell you is that currently, right now, there are 15 million girls in Nigeria who are in similar situations as Aduni, who are child brides, who have been trafficked for slave labor or for sex. And that's just in Nigeria. That's happening all over the planet. When I was looking up information and researching the trafficking problem in Nigeria, I ran across a video on YouTube of a child, an eight-year-old girl who had been sold to a woman by her uncle and her job was to nanny a baby and the video shows her getting pulled out of a car and slammed to the ground because she was unable to keep the baby quiet while they were riding in a car. And I'm gonna to cut to that video right now. That's your fault. The video went around showing the suspect thrusting the little girl out of her car and on the floor. She went ahead to show affection to her crying baby. I'll keep it. It was revealed that the girl was handed over to the family by her uncle from Plata State, who serves as an agent. The suspect, a native of Ungobala in Imo State, admitted she threw the little girl out of her car, but said she never meant to hurt the eight-year-old house help. I'm only business to help her. Poor disenfranchised children, poor disenfranchised girls, poor disenfranchised black and brown girls are getting their Ch childhoods taken away from them are getting their whole entire existences taken away from them. <sighs> and the technical tips, the book was extremely accessible as far as plot and character development. The prose are very Hurston-esque in that she kept the dialect going throughout the book, no questions asked, which was fun to read in terms of you put it down, you walk away, you pick it back up and you're like, oh yes, I am talking like this. <sighs> you know, I read Americana a few years ago and that's a love story. So you read it, it's warm, it, ha it takes place in Nigeria and in the United States and you get to do all of these highbrow explorations of what black is and how it shows up in different spaces when a space is all black 
or when white people are in the space and we get to do a lot of coming of age because we're coming from really stable backgrounds. The characters come from really stable households and wealthy households. People go abroad for university and they get to find themselves. And you close it and you're like, oh, that's beautiful, Nigeria. But every country has an underbelly and Niger Nigeria's was revealed in Girl with a Loud and Voice. <sighs> As this hurts, like it, to remember this and for it to just be put right in front of my face, it hurts. And I'm really, I'm, I'm just tired of feeling hopeless about all of the woes of the world, especially the ones that are inflicted on people who look like me. I hope that upon reading this, you don't just read a debut novel, which it is beautiful, and I'm glad that it's getting, I'm glad the Today Show picked it up, and I want everybody on the planet to read it, but I would doubt that Abidare's goal in writing this would be for us to just read the book and experience it with Aduni through the 365 pages and then close it and go about our lives. That would be irresponsible all of the little people in your lives be it your children your nieces your nephews your neighbors just kiss on them and hug them and don't forget the privilege that it is to be able to protect them because everybody isn't afforded that privilege so that's all i got read the book you know i stopped the links but you can pick it up it premiered this month and it's brilliant Abidare thank you for this it's beautiful all right see you guys on Friday <laughs>